Hello budgeters, welcome to Fun Filling Friday. It is the last Fun Filling Friday uh, for this month and it is honestly the most exciting one for me because this is where we go get to go ahead and put our extra money in our uh, emergency fund, so or in our baby step 3B rather. Okay, so I brought in what I projected for swimming lessons, which was $600 uh, for my swimming, my second um, group of swimming lessons. And my husband had three paychecks from Conduit this month um, because we had five Fridays so of this month. And so that means he got three paychecks. And uh, he brought in what he was projected to make at 2480.68. So my first thing I'm going to do is pay my $60 of tithing and then I'm going to and I've actually already physically paid my tithing. Uh, so putting in in there is good for me but my husband has not yet paid his tithing. So I just go ahead and write down at the bottom of my page that I need to pay 24807 or my husband rather needs to pay 24807 on his tithing. So mine has cleared and gone through. He needs to do that. Okay, all of our regular funds are filled in and our sinking funds are filled in along with our leisure funds. I need $2,100 going into the month of September. And, uh, yeah, so $2,100 going into the month of September because I think our regular costs were a little bit Let's see, our regular costs, yeah, were quite a bit lower than we projected. So that was exciting because that means that we get to put a little bit more into our Baby Step 3B than when I first set up the budget initially. So I need $2,100 remaining down here. And so I think that would make it 2335 dollars would give me $2,100. Perfect. So that's where I want to be. I like round numbers. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 3535 and stick it in an account where um, we are a little bit below um, in deficit in, in some of the accounts. So uh, 3535. So I'm going to do 2300 even is what I would take over into our baby step 3B, making this account $17,300. And again, um, so I'm taking 3535 and I'm going to throw that into account that's negative right now. I think I will put that into 3535. The midlife crisis account's pretty low. The clothing and hair account is pretty low. Um, which account should I put it in? Birthdays and holidays is low, but that one will equal out at the end of the year at date night. So my my three counts that I uh, have over Jen are um, my midlife crisis account, our clothing and hair account, and our birthdays and holidays account. I think I'm going to put it in 35.35. I might do um, half of, I might just zero out this clothing and hair one and put 30, let's do $32 in there. So we'll make this 82. making this a positive 10 cents. So go ahead and reset that background. And then that leaves me 335. I'll probably just put it in this account, this date night account, 3.35, negative 549 and 349 equals a negative 214. Okay, so that is where it looks now. So um, our clothing and hair account has a positive 10 cents. Our date night account has just a negative 214 in it. 
And this is the end of the budget. I think, yep, that leaves me with an even 2100 and I'm taking around 20 or yeah, 2100 left over to take into September. That leaves me with a $2,300 amount to take into our Baby Step 3B, which will make this Baby Step 3B $17,300. Uh, it is actually not clear at the moment if my husband and I really, really will be moving or not. Uh, for a long time, we thought we were. Right now, it's kind of up in the air. But I think at this point of time, we will just continue saving as if we are going to move. So that if it does happen, we have it there. And if it doesn't happen, then we're going to take this big chunk of money and throw it into our baby steps four or five. Baby step uh, number four is saving for retirement. Baby step number five is saving for a kid's college fund. So I uh, will know more as the year goes on, but it's nice to have this money set aside for if we do decide to move. And if we don't, then we'll just throw it all into our retirement accounts anyway. So I hope you guys are doing well. This is the end of Fun Filling Friday. I'm super excited to withdraw this $2,300 from uh, one of my banks and then go take it to the other bank where it's a little bit more secure. So I actually have my savings in a credit union and uh, my irregular checking is in a bank. So I'm excited to take this from the bank and put it into the credit union. It just makes it feel a little bit more secure when I have it in a different location that I don't use as often. So I'm less tempted to spend it. Okay, uh, it was a good month. August was really good. I'm a little bit nervous for September, but crossing our fingers that it works out well. Okay, I hope you're all having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Happy budgeting. Bye.